Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Um, today we have this week's Senate predictions. Um, uh, so far in total I believe I have five changes from last week's prediction. Uh, one is just more of a technical one but the rest are more significant uh, than anything else. So in any event I don't want to waste any time with this video so let's get started. So first the likely Democratic uh, would be state of Minnesota special election uh, Tina Smith. I still believe Tina Smith is going to win this election. However, uh, it's just technical polling that has made it closer and not much else. Tina Smith, I think, is still going to win. Pennsylvania, Bob Casey, I also believe is still going to win. La that was last week's kind of technical thing. Um, and I kept it in because it's still relevant as of now. Uh, Joe Manchin, Joe Manchin after, um, he's basically secured his re-election in the state of West Virginia by voting for Kavanaugh, and especially the fact that he was the only Democrat that voted for Kavanaugh helps his case a lot in the state of West Virginia where they like Kavanaugh a significant amount. Uh, let's see here. So, um, next is likely Republican. Um, first, uh, some states you'd expect. Uh, North Dakota, Heidi Heidkamp right now is, like, screwed. Um, things can always change, but right now things are bad for Heidi Heidkamp. Uh, Mississippi special election, Cindy Hyde-Smith is still doing pretty well. Similar to Tina Smith. Um, I'd put in the same category. And a change from leaning Republican, the state of Texas. Uh, I understand, I completely, completely understand the argument that it would still be in the leaning column. However, Ted Cruz surpassed the magical 5% mark that I consider to be the likely margin. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Texas may very well go down to leaning Republican for my next predictions. But as of right now, he is slightly above that threshold. And it's possible that he could win by a likely margin instead of just a leaning margin. Um, that's all for that. Uh, now we have leaning Democrat, which we have four of. Uh, most are the same. Montana, still leaning Democratic. John Tester, I think, is still in pretty good shape to get reelected. State of Arizona. Um, Kavanaugh didn't really affect the state of Arizona Senate race because Martha McSally couldn't vote for um, Judge Brett Kavanaugh. And by the same token, uh, Christian Cinema could not vote against. Judge Kavanaugh. Um, so thereby, that makes um, just like what Jeff Flake did shouldn't directly affect uh, this election all that much. Um, state of Indiana, Joe Donnelly voted no before the FBI's investigation. So this one could potentially get closer. But as of right now, I still see Joe Donnelly winning by a leaning margin. And up from tilting Democratic, uh, the state of Florida right now would be a leaning state for the Democrats. Hold his seat um, over the incumbent governor, Rick Scott. And overall, I think that right now this is becoming more democratic with Gilliam and additionally the Senate race.
So I think Florida is a state to watch. Still, it always is a state to watch. It could always flip. But right now, I think the Democrats are looking pretty good in Florida. Um, leaning Republican next. Uh, this is from Tilting Republican. Uh, would be the state of Tennessee. Uh, right now, Marsha Blackburn's poll lead is growing. It's I think it's around 2.7%. Right now, if my memory serves me correctly, which that would be a leaning margin. The whole Kavanaugh thing did not directly affect Tennessee, but it being a deeply Republican state um, could have indirectly affected it. Arizona is not a deeply Republican state. It is a Republican state at heart, I think, but overall it is not a solid Republican state like the state of Tennessee usually is. Phil Bredesen, uh, a lot of things was the governor. And I think ultimately, after a long and good campaign, I think eventually um, Phil Bredesen will concede the election. Um, now we're going to get into the tilting column. So first, tilting Democratic from leaning Democratic. This is a change. Jackie Rosen in the state of Nevada. Um, before I had it as, I believe I had it as Tilting Democratic maybe two videos ago, and I moved it into the Leaning Democratic because the poll numbers were growing, but after the whole Kavanaugh thing with Republican morale, I guess would be the right word for it, it is, Republican morale is way up from where it was before Kavanaugh. So it was almost like a blessing in disguise for them because I know a lot of people who do not like the way Democrats did it. I'm not saying which side I believe, but people don't like the way they treated Kavanaugh. Um, so right now, Dean Heller uh, it's coming back a little bit in the polls. Today there was a poll that said it was an exact tie. Uh, tie, And that's why it is still tilting Democratic. Because ties are bad for incumbents. I've said this in multiple videos um, about Missouri and even uh, can, not Kentucky. Tennessee, I've mentioned the incumbent if one was the incumbent. But Missouri, I've talked about more. Uh, North Dakota, I used to talk about ties are bad for incumbents. But I still think right now it would go in the Democratic column, but by a smaller margin than previously thought. And finally, the state of Missouri, I have tilting Republican, uh, the same as it was before. Claire McCaskill voted against uh, Judge Brett Kavanaugh. I don't know if that's going to come back. That might come back to bite her. This is another deeply Republican state. Um, and I think it could potentially help Josh Hawley that she voted no on Judge Kavanaugh. So that wraps us up with 51 Republicans, 49 Democrats, the same composition as before. Uh, if we take a look over here, uh, Missouri and North Dakota are fully red, and Arizona and Nevada get some more blue in them. So that's it for this video. Comment down below what you think of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all soon.